In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Wi-Fi Tether for root users working on the T-Mobile version of the Samsung Galaxy S4. There are other methods out there that show you how to do this. However, none of those methods are currently working on the latest version of Android on the T-Mobile S4. Normally, when you try to start tethering on a rooted Galaxy S4 from T-Mobile, you receive a message telling you that tethering has started with errors and to view your log. And normally when you go to view the log, it says that there is no log to display. This method is 100% working, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Alright, the first thing you want to do is put your phone in download mode. The easiest way to do this is to hold your volume down button, your home button, and your power button. Keep holding until you feel your phone vibrate and you'll see this message pop up on your screen. Press volume up to enter download mode. Then you can switch to your PC. Now that you're back at your computer, what you want to do is plug in your phone and once you do that, you're going to want to download the files I have listed in the description. It's basically a custom kernel. It's a stock kernel with set UID off. Uh, once that modification has been made and the kernel has been flashed to your phone, you will be able to use Wi-Fi Tether with no issues whatsoever. It will start and operate perfectly every time. Normally, you can only flash this kernel uh, if you have a custom recovery, but I did not want to have to go through the hassle of installing a custom recovery because I could not find the stock recovery to go back to stock. So I made them into flashable ODIN zip files. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up ODIN, which I have right here. You're going to want to go to PDA. And you can see in the background here, I have all my folders for different things. All you're going to want to do is go to what I have named uh, Tether Stock Kernel. Go in there, select the file, press Start. Takes just about five seconds for the process to complete, and the phone will restart. And I'm going to go back and show you the results. So once your phone has rebooted, you're going to want to unlock your device. Go into your Wi-Fi tether application. Press your menu button. Go to settings. Change your device profile to Samsung Galaxy S3. Change the setup method to the fourth one up from the bottom, which I can't even pronounce, so I'm not even going to try. Go down all the way. Make sure you have your MSS clamping and routing fix enabled. And you can choose whether or not you want to enable Wi-Fi encryption. My personal preference is to use Mac filtering, but uh, <clears throat> encryption works absolutely fine. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and hit back. Then you can start your tethering. And you should be able to see that you have your usual screen after you start tethering. You will now be able to connect to your phone and use tethering with no problems. I hope you found this video useful. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.